Hey, this is John Ellis with Ectalon Rackaball. We've got Dave here from TechStream. He's going to talk a little bit about the TechStream technology. Dave, it's glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. All right, why don't you right off the bat, just tell us a little bit about what the TechStream technology is all about. Well, TechStream is a uh, spread toe carbon fiber fabric. And so there's lots of different uh, carbon fibers out on the market. And some of the traditional ones have been unidirectional or plain weaves. And we've kind of taken a, a little bit of a different take on a plain weave fabric by being able to spread out the material a little bit more. It gives us lower uh, aerial weight, so the fabric weighs less than other technologies. Uh, it also has better impact resistance, and it also provides additional strength and stiffness. Now, we'll come back to Rackamon in a second, but there's been some other sports that have uh, involved TechStream technology already. Talk a little bit about the other sports and what it's done for those sure. equipments. Sure. Well, in the sporting goods field, uh, we're also involved with Bauer Hockey Sticks, currently over 400 players in the NHL are using Bauer Hockey Sticks made at TechStream. Uh, we're also in the Felt Bicycle line. They currently have five different models um, in their top line of FRD uh, bikes. So aimed at the real serious rider, whether it be mountain, road, triathlon. And they've had some good experiences. The last uh, Tour de France, uh, Marcel Kittel rode uh, a bike four times and won, or excuse me, won four stages of the Tour mm. de France using a TechStream bike. Um, and uh, the, the female winner for the Ironman World Championships in Hawaii this past December also rode the new felt IA. So cool. And not to mention Patrick Kane and for the Blackhawk fans out there, Jonathan Tay is using the sticks as well. I assume the, the tech stream is providing a lot uh, less weight on the, on the hockey sticks, allowing them to really get through their shots well, a little bit better. Yeah, it's, it's something that um, I used to be in the hockey business, and at the time it was aluminum and it was wood. and. Uh, the problem there was is that when you started to use one of those products, it never got better than your first shot. Right. The product started to deteriorate over time. Mm. Wood would eventually break or aluminum would fatigue. And so composite sticks came out. And the advantage of composite, just like what you'd have with racket sports, is that the performance of the racket is going to stay the same shot to shot and racket to racket um, over a much longer time than right. you will. Because composite and sp specifically carbon fiber has the, the best strength to weight ratio out there in the market. That's very cool to hear. That yeah. sounds great. Now comparing TechStream to the graphene technology, why is it better? Well, I'd, What I'd say is that there's two ways of, um, when you have a composite part, there's two things, or let's say a composite racket rather than a part. Uh, there's two things that make that racket. You have carbon fiber and then you have resin. Resin is essentially the glue that helps hold mm -hmm. carbon fiber together and you can't have one without the other. And so therefore, in order to improve rackets, we've decided to go ahead and use TechStream in a material way rather than approaching it from a resin standpoint. And what I like about what we've done is we've been able to address uh, the torsional stiffness on the racket. So by putting it in the throat uh, at a 45 degree angle, you can see that it's gonna keep the racket um, from twisting mm -hmm. as you're hitting it which I think is great. And it's also adding more impact protection, not only in the throat area, but also up in the, in the head area. So you're getting a more encompassing uh, protection system, I think, than what other rackets you find out right. there on the market. Well, you're here at the Nationals right now, yeah. so you're seeing a lot of racquetball. Sure. One of the big things is those off-center hits in a racquetball mm -hmm. frame. How's the tech stream gonna help those moments when you're not quite hitting the sweet spot? Well, I think that's where it really comes down to, uh, to the torque. Right. And speaking with your engineers, they were really impressed at how off-center hits didn't uh, were a lot less frequent because the racket wasn't torquing upon impact. Right. So by being able to keep that more stable, you can be off the sweet spot a little bit in each direction. It's going to feel like you're still. So essentially, it's kind of enlarging your sweet spot, if you will. Yeah, I know, and I'm feeling that demo in the new line of rackets already. That uh, you know, I like to hit in the sweet spot a lot. We all do, and I feel that power and stability sure. there already. But the ones that hit a little bit higher, a yep. little bit lower in the throat area, I'm still popping those balls, and it's surprising right. to somebody like me that I'm getting that, that power still, so sure. I really appreciate that. Well, I think it's, it, it's, what's great is that for the, the top players, it's gonna enhance their game, and it's also gonna help the, the player that only plays weekends or not as frequently, help them enjoy the game a lot more, just like uh, oversized clubs did for golf and right. you know, moving away from, from forged iron, so. Well, as you're here and you're, and you're watching these matches, you're gonna see a lot of rackets contacting the side sure. walls, back walls, sure. and we've placed that tech stream in, in four key locations. Talk yep. a little bit about that. Well, 
it's in the throat area on both sides of the racket. So I believe it was it's the two, the five, the seven, and the ten right. areas of the racket, if you will, if you were looking at it on a clock. And so it's doing exactly what you said for those wall contacts where it's going to be up on the head part and the two and the five or the two and the ten. You've got some extra reinforcement there, and you also have it down in the throat. So it's really covering you, I think, from racket to racket contact and also you know, racket to wall floor, what have you. Right, and that's great for the club players out there that are retailing racquetball rackets. Sure. Nervous about hitting that side wall. You don't have to be as nervous with our new texturing uh, Ectalon frames. Go ahead and make contact with that side wall. Hit the shot you need to hit. You're going to get good results. The pros out there probably don't mind as much. They get a little bit more rackets in their bag, sure. but all you club players out there have the confidence to take those wallpaper shots and drive the ball. Thank you very much, David. Absolutely. Appreciate this. Thanks all right. For having me. All right. Take care. Take care.